Hi all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how we can find a doctor and also book an appointment with a doctor in Germany. So I hope this video would be useful for all the newcomers here. So people who are not living in Germany currently, you would be thinking what is so special about it, isn't it? Because in India, it's not a big deal to find a doctor. You can visit a doctor who's working in a clinic anytime during his consultation hours, mostly even without an appointment. And in hospitals too, you can anytime walk in without an appointment. But uh, this is not the case here in Germany. Uh, here, before visiting a doctor, you should understand some procedures. So the first thing that you need to do after taking your health insurance about which I've already done a video last week is to find a house arts or a family doctor nearby your residence so that you can easily access this doctor. So I'll show you how to find a doctor later on in this video. So this house arts is a general physician that is uh, here in Germany if you get any illness which is not an emergency you should first go and meet your house arts. So if it is something that he can treat, then he will definitely treat you and uh, prescribe medicines for you. But in case if he can't treat you, then he will refer you to a specialist doctor or Fahars. That is, suppose you have a pain in the knee and if you first go and meet your house arts, he will definitely check you and if it has to be referred to an orthopedist, he will definitely refer you to an ortho. So this uh, transfer procedure is known as Uber Weissung. Now you'll be thinking, uh, can we directly go to an orthopedist like we do in India? But uh, here we have a problem. That is, in order to visit any doctor who is working in a clinic or a practice here, you need to first book an appointment over phone and then only you can visit that doctor. So when you are trying to make an appointment with a specialist doctor like this, you may not get an appointment uh, unless it is an emergency. And even if you get an appointment also, you will only get a very late appointment. So, whereas if you go through this house arts, then your chances of getting an immediate appointment is very high. And also, even in hospitals too, you cannot simply walk in unless it's an emergency. And uh, even on weekends and uh, during non-working times of your house arts, unless it's a real emergency, before going to a hospital, you can first contact your house arts so that he will refer you to an emergency doctor. And another thing is that in Germany, if you are ill and uh, if you take leave from work for more than three continuous days, then in that case, you have to submit your employer a doctor's certificate. So this number of days that I mentioned may vary depending upon your employer. So this doctor's certificate is known as Arbeitsunfähigkeitsbescheinigung. So this certificate also, you can get it easily through your house arts. So now I hope you would have understood how important it is to book an appointment with a house arts here. So you may not be ill in order to book your first appointment with a house arts. Just find a doctor nearby your residence and then you can book an appointment over phone first and then you can directly go and meet that doctor. There are some other important doctors too whom you may have to meet even before you are actually ill. The first one is the kinder arts or a pediatrician. So if you have a child then definitely you will have to look out for a kinder arts for your child. That is for children uh, especially when they are very young they will have some regular checkups which is mandatory. So uh, you have to definitely look out for a kinder arts. The second one is the crown arts or a gynecologist. So all women here will have a regular checkup once in a year. Uh, which will be covered by your insurance and uh, this checkup includes pelvic examination and breast cancer screening. So I feel that uh, it's very important to go for this checkup uh, for a woman's health. Third one is the Tsan Arts or a dentist. So in my video where I spoke about insurances, I have mentioned that uh, how common the dental problems are in Germany. So you will have a regular checkup once in a year with your dentist uh, which will be covered by your insurance. So I feel that uh, it is very good to go for this checkup uh, for your dental health. Now I will show you in detail how you can find a doctor in Germany. First you can see that I have listed out some uh, specialist doctors titles in English and their corresponding titles in German. You can just take a look at it so that uh, once you know the German titles it will be easier for you to search for a doctor in a website. Today I am going to 
to show you a website called Yameda that we use in order to search for a doctor in Germany. So I'll give you the link of this website in the description box. This website is really user friendly and uh, since it has a lot of filters it makes our search uh, very easy and uh, in this website you can also find very honest reviews about every doctor so I think for expats like us uh, it will be really easy in order to pick a doctor just based on these reviews. In the first page itself it's asking if you want to translate this page to English but please do not translate it because uh, sometimes you might not get the right results and uh, there is an al also an option uh, for you to create a login ID. So if you create a login ID the advantage is that if you like uh, some doctor then you can add uh, him or her to your favorites but now uh, we are not creating any login ID we'll uh, proceed uh, just without that. First, in order to search for a doctor, there is a field called uh, Fahgebiet here. Here you can give your specialist doctor's title, uh, whichever doctor you are looking for. For example, now I am giving Hausarzt. And uh, next there is a field called Ort, uh, wherein you can give your city name or you can also give the complete address. Then there is an option called uh, Telefonisch or Online Buchbar. That is some doctors allow uh, bookings only over phone and some allow bookings online too. So you can select whether you need just online bookings or you it's like a telephone or online booking is okay for you. And then uh, you can press the uh, search button that is Sohan. In the next page you can actually find uh, more filters. Uh, first there is an option called Fussy Shurung, uh, which means the insurance type. That is not every doctor accepts both uh, public and private patients. So based on your insurance type you can select uh, either Gesetzlich which means uh, public insurance and the other one is Privat that is private health insurance. So you can select uh, Gesetzlich if you want doctors who accept public patients. The next one is Enfernung uh, which means distance that is you can select the distance within which you need to find a doctor. So you can find an option called Mayer filter. Here you can find the more options actually. The first one is Durchschnittsnote which means the doctor's grading. So you have gradings ranging from 1 to 6. 1 is the best grading and 6th one is the worst. So now I am selecting 1 and 2 that is uh, I need doctors uh, with grades 1 and 2. The next one is you can select uh, doctors uh, based on whether they are female or male doctors. So if you want just female doctors uh, you can select Nur Frauen here and if you want just male doctors then you can select Nur Mainer. The next option is uh, Gesprochene Sprachen which means the language is spoken by a doctor. So if you need English speaking doctors then you can select English here and uh, if you need uh, Deutsch also you can select both the uh, Deutsch and English. The next option is Uwe site that is normally the clinic opening times is from uh, 8 in the morning to 6 in the evening. So if you need a clinic which opens uh, before 8 a.m. you can select for uh, our tour and if you need a clinic that opens after 6 uh, p.m. then you can select Na Artsen Uwe. Next you can see an option here called uh, Termin Buchung uh, wherein you can select online book bar if you require doctors who allow online bookings. Now let's look at another example of selecting a Frauenarzt. For showing you I am just selecting this doctor. And you can see that uh, she has a grade 1 which means uh, she is a very good doctor. And uh, you can see that uh, you, there are 20 reviews given that is uh, Bever Tungen. So if you click on that uh, you can uh, see the reviews actually. The reviews are in German but you can translate it and read and uh, since these reviews are uh, very honest as I mentioned earlier you can just select a doctor based on these reviews and even when you actually meet a doctor you will feel that uh, the doctor was just as uh, mentioned in the reviews. Then you can see that uh, telephone number is also mentioned here so this is the number that we have to use in order to make appointments. And then you can see that she accepts both uh, public and uh, private patients that is Gesetzlich and Privat. So Sprechzeiten is the office hour so that is also mentioned here and her address is also given. 
now you can see that uh, this doctor has mentioned her uh, gesprochene sprache uh, that is spoken languages as deutsch english and so on so this is a very new feature in this website and so not many doctors have updated their profiles so if you just give english speaking doctors in the filter and search then it may show very limited number of doctors so when whenever you search uh, you can select both deutsch and english speaking doctors and uh, don't worry uh, mostly all doctors here speak uh, good english. English. Then here you can see photos of their clinic. And uh, here um, her areas of uh, specialization is also mentioned. So you can just translate it and read. Apart from the grade uh, given for this doctor, you can also see separate gradings given for each and every feature of this uh, clinic. For example, they have given a uh, rating for the waiting time uh, at this uh, clinic. And also you can see um, grade grading for how soon you get an appointment uh, with this doctor. And also regarding their parking. One more thing that I would like to add on here is that suppose if you are a public health insurance holder, when you go to a doctor and if he prescribes a particular medicine in a rose color sheet, then if you are going to buy this medicine at an apothecary or a pharmacy, you will have to pay around 10% of the cost of this medicine and the remaining only uh, will be paid by your public health insurance provider. Whereas uh, if your doctor prescribes a medicine, a particular medicine in a blue color sheet, then you will have to pay the entire money at the apothecary. I do not know how it is exactly with the private health insurance holders. Since we are also public health insurance holders, I just uh, share this information. And suppose if you were not able to get an appointment with a doctor uh, according to your preferences, for example, an English speaking doctor, then you can definitely contact your insurance uh, provider also. They can also help you in finding a doctor of your choice. So that's it friends. Thank you so much for watching this video. So I hope all the newcomers here would have found this video really informative. So please do consider uh, to like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel if you liked other videos in my channel too. See you all in another video.